Well, here goes nothing. Hopefully this will work out pretty well. Let's get this all set up and swapped over. Put the keyboard down on my lap. Might be a little bit of bumping in here, but... Nothing like a little bit of Pokemon Emerald for your night. And one of the coolest intros by far. Pokemon Emerald. Absolutely the best. Alrighty. Let's get started with this. Grab the file. I mean, totally load up my normal Game Boy. Grab this one. Perfect! Alrighty. We have the volume locked in at the right amount. Check. Uh, should be about a six. Yeah, that's about right there. Okay, cool. Awesome! So in case you missed the last stream, but we uh, weren't really paying a whole lot of attention to it, we've gotten to Fall Over Town with a pretty solid lineup of Pokemon. We're uh, making our way through the game with basically Chat, Skyrim, and a Light carrying us. Backup is sweeping a bunch of Pokemon. Helix is doing work, and we've switched to Spooderman so that they're able to carry up some of the uh, backup of the game. Should be fine. If you're not aware, this is a Pokemon randomized Nuzlocke. So all the Pokemon encounters are indeed random. We're getting a huge mix of uh, you know appearances every time, but it is Nuzlocke, so one encounter per route. Every uh, Pokemon needs to have a nickname. If it dies, that's really tough. It's dead. Um, the other important rule that we have here, which I can use these two to demonstrate, is Summary. For alligator's water type, which means I cannot take another water type. The only reason that I can have Kabuto on the team is because it is a rock and water type. So primary typing dictates how the team goes. With that all being said, let's go attack some trainers and get some more uh, EXP. And uh, get moving. I think we're gonna switch to a light here. Probably would be a better idea. And let's hope I don't botch this. Why are we hearing about Seviper? Well, let me just go play the game. We got some trainers that we skipped uh, because I wanted to get right to the end. I was feeling a little bit sleepy. Thank you, Tuga. I appreciate it, man. It's been uh, it's been a long process to get here, but we're really trying, dude. I just looked up and saw what's going on. Oh wow. Um, this is a good way to start the stream, right? Get get jumped into a random trainer battle with none other than a Groudon. But we can do it, I believe. I think Light's got this. Yeah. We got Mud Shot. That's nothing. So we Charm Intimidate. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a start. We're looking at uh, some spooky stuff here. We got Skyrim in here too. Let's go. Uh, but yeah. Now this is just going to be what I hope to be smooth sailing. I don't want to lose another Pokemon, but uh, sometimes things get unfortunate really fast, so just got to play well. We got to do our best. Um, and honestly, I'm just going to play to my strengths. I'm not going to, you know, do anything sketchy. Um, we're just going to... We're just going to keep pushing very calmly. 
Uh, double kick should be fine. It's pretty hot, so I'm trying to trying to stay cool. Got my water going. Water is definitely the savior right now. One of these days, I'm gonna have to figure out more stuff in the stream. We'll uh, we'll make it look nicer for sure. I just really want to get you know a series done. I've actually been saving all of these uh, videos and putting them on a YouTube channel. So I will have this playthrough saved forever, which is pretty cool. My first Twitch influenced playthrough, I guess. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Come back in with a Blissey. That Blissey's gonna do nothing. It would have been very annoying if we had fought them together though, so I'm glad we split up this fight. Nine twenty-eight. Not bad. I think we're getting to a point where Gramble is sweeping. You know, early access to strength. Early uh early power. We're we're moving. Gramble's probably one of my underrated picks for the team, but, uh, you know, we do what we do here. Got, like, one more fight that I think we should do. And then, uh, we'll... Oh. Yeah, that was bad. What is going on here? trainer okay I knew we were missing at least one we're gonna take this fight though and we're gonna just abuse this fight I don't quite remember where we gotta go after I think I have to go into the cave and up the gondola and then I should be fine and back on pace. I really don't want to uh, fall too far behind, so... Ooh, one star. I think I can just strength everything here, honestly. Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, well... You know, you'll, you'll learn very quickly what you can and can't do, I guess, am I right? <laughs> Backup has actually been carrying this team right now. Mostly just because he's been hitting a lot of really clutch leech seeds and uh, keeping himself bulky even though he's not all that bulky, which is much appreciated. Um, when he hits level 32, we, uh, we get some more power, so we are definitely going to be trying to uh, keep this Little grass boy alive. I guess grass girl alive. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Not badly, though. Not you. Sorry about that. Uh, had my <laughs> had my Google thing come on, so don't want that coming on from just me saying words, right? I'm sure it would give me some really weird stuff. So, oh no, he's registered me. Uh, you know, rain dance. I don't know if I can make use of that, but I, I might try. Some rain nan strats could be uh, could be interesting, I think. Could be well worth. Let's turn that microphone and move it a little bit closer there. Sorry if I made any unpleasant noises. We got a bridge and a bit to go. 
Lynette is standing here. Get out of the way. I just want to use the Pokemon thing. Out. Go. Get. Okay. Someone's PC. For those who haven't seen the uh, box, got quite the uh, backup here. What typing is this? Normal flying. Yep, can't use that right now. And your primary typing is water flying. Alright. So a lot of stuff I can't use. But we have some replacements in case bad stuff happens. We don't want bad stuff to happen, but it can, so... I like to just stay aware of what's going on. I think we're probably going to be looking at losing one of the powerhouses uh, midway through. I don't know. I just... I got this ominous feeling, dude. Ominous. I hate getting Pokeballs because I normally don't catch a whole lot of Pokemon when I play through a Pokemon game. But, we're kind of forced to here. And this dude. I forget how this. Oh! Yo! Dig! That's actually gonna be huge. Fossil Maniac. None for you. I remember right, the fossil ends up here from the tower, which makes zero sense. But, uh... Oh, you know what? I need to get a better fishing rod soon. Mudkip. So we heard you like mudkips. Aha. Uh Aha -huh. uh -huh, funny. Funny mudkip go ha ha. I, I didn't laugh either. But we win, so I mean, there is something good that comes out of this. And CXP. I like to battle, but it doesn't mean I'm good at it. You know what, buddy? Same. Honestly, same. Actually, you know what? No. I'm, I'm feeling that we do this maneuver right here. Let's balance out the four. You do. But you may roar. Honestly, this NPC is kind of funny. I like him. Go. Me? I'm not just a pretty face. I've not even seen your face until now. Would not have even been able to make that judgment call because you were looking away. Weird NPCs, man. What do you do? Ugh. Disable's not fun to play around, in my opinion. But. We take those, we win those. Skyrim Dragon is leveling up. Also, Tuga, this is the first time I've seen you um, chatting in my stream uh, for a safari ball. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the first time that I've seen you like chatting here during this playthrough. Uh, so next Pokemon that we get is all you, buddy. You're joining the team. Be, uh, we're gonna be big chilling. So hopefully we get something cool for you. I know Edo got a Wobbuffet, but he liked it, so it's all good. Fine and dandy.
getting that two tap on the line in. It's big. And we're just gonna try and even out my levels a bit here. Get to 27s. Yeah, it's me, but a fisherman. Didn't even notice that. Um. I wonder if there's a, a fisherman who gives me like an upgraded rod soon. I don't remember where that is. And I hope it's soon. Could very much appreciate having a better rod. In the meantime though, I'm fine just kicking it. Killing it with all this power. Mud kit. We're gonna still cut, because I think we can do that. Yeah, because it's pure water type still, so it's not gonna be bulky. We have crit though. Not fun. Not a cool gamer moment. There we go, Spiro. The water gun to win. We can hit. is going to be mad annoying, but we're going to go for it anyways. Alrighty. If we were fishing, I would have won. I don't think so, buddy. I haven't missed one yet. I think that's a whole load of hoopla. Hoopla is a funny word, in my opinion. I don't think it gets used enough. I also feel like it's kind of just one of those weird, strange things that people say. You know? Yeah, picking up what I'm putting down. I'm trying to cut down this way, Lord. I don't feel a reason to switch here. I don't feel threatened. Especially because I don't know Water Spout right about this level, so... At least I don't think they do. Free EXP. I don't think Paris knows anything either. That's really threatening. Me and my big fat mouth, huh? It's got cool ability. We take those, we win. Like it ain't no thing. We get some more money. And I think we switch to Anti Helix. Because we have an encounter to do. Let's go get our Pokemon. Slowpoke! Can't use it, but gosh, is Slowpoke cool. Uh, Slowpoke knows water type moves. So we're gonna just do this and throw balls at it. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. I'll try not to kill this one. I'd like to catch Slowpoke. Because Slowpoke is like one of my favorites. It's very versatile. I'm just gonna chip him down real quick. Oof. The double defense drop. Yawn? Yawn would be pretty cool. The triple defense drop. Ain't that something. And we go night night. But it's all good. Can't believe we got a safari ball. I might just hang on to that, honestly. It's kind of cool. Kind of weird to see it out in the open, just roaming around. 
I think this means we don't get a Master Ball, though. It's like... Master Ball is a ground item in this game. You just pick it up off, like, uh... Off the dirt, you know? And we get this one, uh, the latest chatter. A blue to go. Hello. Welcome to the winning side, buddy. I think we go back and we just heal to abuse the fact that Pokemon Center is relatively close. Because we're gonna try and get a little bit further in. Playing way cautious, but hey, you know. Keeping Pokemon alive is priority numero uno. You never know when you run into a Groudon. Like, the first battle. Jeez. Um, yeah. I think, I think what we do is we're gonna also try out this combo real quick. I'm gonna put you and you because there's a double battle that I need to do. And I don't like double battles, but if I'm going to do a double battle, I may as well put someone who's really strong with somebody who's like got a good ability. Horsey. Horsey would have been a rough one as well. We're just gonna run. Don't need that. Need this. I like your money. I think these people register you in the uh, Pokemon app too, if I remember correctly. It's been a. It's been a bit. Leaf and slack off. Honestly, this shouldn't be too bad. I think we're uh, we're pretty in the clear if they don't have anything else. Go strength on the Nuzleaf and Ben Missile on the Slack Off. For safety purposes, just to make sure we get one kill. Gamble on the Pin Missile hitting like five times. Do you imagine? Right, so this is just gonna be a two turn fight then. Strength and Bin Missile for the win. Bramble is going to be carrying pretty soon here. Stab Strength is no joke. Alrighty. Uh, really? You made me come out here all, all the way for that? No. What is this? Aww, that's cool. Never actually read that before. Good guy Bill. Some, some, we, some like, Promotion for Bill, dude. Bill's so cool. I want to be like Bill when I grow up. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur's good EXP. I think uh, I think we can make some some usage out of this. The fact that that we now have Bramble in the lead and storming through. Kinda makes me a little nervous that I'm gonna avoid the rest of my team. Um, we're, we're playing to our strengths here, literally, with strength. I think we're gonna use Gramble for the next fight, get them level 27, and then swap them out. I'd like to fight you too.
Acnea, yo, base. You saw me use them, and you're like, hey, that seems like a good strategy. Which I applaud you for making the right decision. Honestly, not everybody can uh, can make that call, but you you get it there, Mr. Pokemon Nerd. Acne is cool. Steve, right? Like like Minecraft, Steve. Guys, I didn't realize that Steve from Minecraft was in Pokemon, but that's hype. Really? Fab mail? Why fab mail? Oh, we punch this thing in the face, I think. We, we bite this dude. 100%. Yep. Yep. Yeah, level 27, baby. Attack stat? Dang. It's kinda going off. Put chat back in the lead, chat's got this. Our starter Blaziken. And that Pokeball. Yellow flutes. Interesting. Dun 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 dun. dun. Dun, dun, dun. Make sure you got some water handy. Oh yeah, this dude had like a fire and a water type, if I remember right. When I last saw this, uh, when I last saw this fight, honestly, it was pretty cool. Um, sorry, just reading something real quick. And yeah, we're good. Victory Bell. Good thing I swapped into uh, Blaziken. It's almost like, uh, like he made sure to lead with a Pokemon that I could take advantage of. I think I'm just playing half decent. I know I'm, I'm hyping myself up, but I really feel like we're, um, we're working pretty well with the team that we've been dealt. We've been dealt a great team. So... Moving through at light speed. Honestly, I feel like I'm moving incredibly slow, but I do enjoy taking in the game for what it is. I mean, it's been a while since I played through like Emerald fully. Enjoyed it, so playing through its entirety, getting a feel for the game again. Good way to go. 523. And a Weedle. Can you imagine? Honestly, Weedle's kind of like cool because Beedrill. Beedrill's pretty sick. Get this one out of the way, too. Some some bird here. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. Scratch and we're done. Good going. Tentacool. Not really what I want to see. Hope it doesn't have liquid ooze or anything. That would be bad. Oh, well, we got to play out of this one. We'll, uh, we're gonna 
go for a leech seed. All right, I get rid of that poison. I think that's probably a, a, a good move. Slow and steady wins the race. Not much else I can do, so... Yep. Kinda a little nervous about this tentacle. Poison Sting is making this fight a little less fun than I remember it being. Still pushing. Still trying to make the most of this little... And I'm sure I'm like way overthinking this, but... It is what it is. I think we get one more hit, we win. Well, that's a hit. Just the wrong direction. like super close to leveling up. I'm kind of like scared to bring it out into battle now because I want it to be safe. I want it to level up, right? With that pressure of knowing like if I if I kill it, then all of that careful planning was for, for nothing, essentially. So we're just going to try and keep him alive, essentially, because not much else for it. Since it doesn't echo here. Ah, oh, I forgot about you. Two Pokemon, a chop, easy. Curious to know what the second one's gonna be though. We've kind of been uh, running into very few legendaries, which makes sense, but like, was still a concern. Grooving though with chat. Chat is an animal, dude. Da -da -da. Go into backup, because backup is cool. Give me that absorb. Ugh, my throat's dry, dude. Dollars down. We've uh, drank some water. We ran into the cave, I think. I think that was it. Yep. Nothing in there either. Okay, cool. This is also an encounter, so we're gonna quickly switch up here. I'm just gonna move nice and slow. Lucky Punch! Hello! Let's see what we get in here. I can use that! I can actually use that. How do we go about catching it? I don't think it has any electric type attacks, but I like him in Kabuto. I think he's pretty cool. I don't really want to kill him just yet. So, you know, it is what it is. Ah, see? He'd be dead. Bring them two punchies. 
Punch, punch, and then go. Bag. But like, what if this works? You know, just saying. What if it works? Ah. Uh, it would have been sweet to have a Pokemon in a Safari Ball. Maybe we'll get another one at some point. Real task is trying to get this guy into the ball. He does not want to go. Come on, my dude. You want to be on the right side of the winning team, dude. Thank you. We got we got one of the evolutions, which we might add later. Yes, we will. Um, hmm, I gotta name this thing, don't I? I have, a, I have a name. Since this thing's so fast, we're gonna call him Velo. Alrighty! Our team is looking good. Do I have orange berries still? Uses Chansey's critical hit rate, so he's useless. Um, you know what? Just because I have an ominous feeling, I'm gonna give a light some some extra power. And then we're gonna go with backup in front. And for alligator in slot two. Please don't be something cool. Yes. <laughs> I mean, still a cool Pokemon, but like, I'd feel bad if if my next encounter immediately was like a legendary. I'd have been so sad. Hold it right there. This is Team Magma and Team Aqua. Oh, is this a speech time? Yeah, this is. This is speech time. I like how he goes from like trying to fight me to trying to recruit me. He even took my meteorite. What am I going to do? We're going to go this way. I think I can encounter stuff on this side. Can I not? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's an encounter over here. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself. I want to fight all these people anyways, so like... You know. <sighs> Jeez! But the last thing I want to see. Freaking Tyranitar, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, me and my me and my stupidity were like, yo, what a great idea. Let's Let's go fight all the trainers. 
a Ranatar just invades my my life. I think we're uh, we're gonna do okay. Does does Kekia not get hit by sandstorms? Really? Did I miss that? Did you get hit and I just didn't notice, or like, is this a thing? Sandstorm rages. Wow. Interesting. So Kekia gets a pass. Cool. I like that. Makes sense, but like, I like that. 840 EXP. The Tyranitar was worth it at the end. Ugh. Do we gotta do it this way? Let's see if I can Leech Seed. Clutch Leech Seed. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. My heart. I swear, man. That, that's a lot to take. That is... is a bit much. Kinda not okay with that. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god is right. Oh, okay. Two times. Jeez. Look, I'm not saying that I'm lucky. I'm just saying that I'm playing to the strengths of my Pokemon, which is almost getting them killed. Uh, you've broken your. You broke my concentration, lady. That was, was almost a massacre. Look what they did to my boy. My sweet boy. Deli bird. Literally go from pain and suffering to haha -ha funny gamble. It's not wrong. Delibird is kind of rare. I don't really remember ever seeing many places to catch a Delibird. I do have a legitimate shiny Delibird though from uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is pretty fun. As bad as that book one is, I quite like it. It's just uh. It was a fun little event that they did, and I quite appreciate when they do that. Oof. Sorry, I'm still... I'm still stressed out about that, that Cacnea. Gosh. That, that, that is enough to make my hair fall out of my head. I think we got one more fight, maybe two, in this area. We're gonna do the same thing with the Leech Seed at the beginning. Just 
play it safe. And then we're gonna go with some pin missiles, I believe. Gamble for the five. We got two. I think I just win by sheer stubbornness, honestly, in this fight. More or less, less or more. But we've done the main trigger event, which means all I gotta do is scale down a mountain. And then, uh, I should be sailing pretty smooth. Not looking forward to the, uh, the Norman fight. You know, that's gonna be a little sketchy. Most of because random makes them a little bit more unpredictable. Although not having to go up against uh, slackings is kind of nice. So there is there is a bonus. Really? You're just running in place? Why? All the things. Why? Kind of strange. I guess we go into into Skyrim for this one. Put him out there, baby. With that super powerful water gun that he's got going on. I think once I get back into a city, we're gonna pick up that Jolteon. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of our death fodder. We're just gonna We're gonna play it out. Mantine. See, because like this would be a great point to have my uh, my Jolteon on my team. What water flying? Sure, it only knows Thundershock, but like even so. Man, the game is actually kind of sick. Free to come here and okay. Thanks, Cindy. I'm pretty sure I can get an encounter here, so I'm gonna go for it. I mean, if not, then I can always release it, but I'm pretty sure this is a free encounter. I have a Vigoroth, though. I would like to just skip this. Like something that's gonna be different and actually fun for the playthrough. You know, with the whole random element. Okay, but hear me out, there's no way we get a third slack off to avoid getting multiple of the same. Just saying, there's, there's there's no way we get a third slack off, right? Okay, so hear me out. So there's no way we get a fourth slack off, right? Okay, <laughs> so hear me out. So there's no way we get a fifth slack off, right? <laughs> so hear me out. <laughs> there's no way that we get a sixth slack off, right?
Wait. Right? Alright, fine. You win. You win. I, I, I give. Fine. Literally not even gonna use you. You happy? Unbelievable. I was so mad about the slack house, I forgot there was an item here. I'll take this one too. So, I mean, other than the items, um, pretty bad, honestly. You might be wondering, why the heck did we go this way, you know? Like, isn't this such a long run all the way back up there? Well, yes and no, actually. It's, it's kind of strange like that. So, for step one, we're gonna grab Velo. Because Velo is actually going to be making the team. It's quite the box, honestly. I think it's still crazy that the first Pokemon that we have in our box is an Entei. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Of all the things we'd have. Let's check Velo. Kind of frail, but also kind of grooving. Alright. Sorry, I'm just like spacing out a little bit here. Uh, essentially what we got to do is we got to go all the way around into this area. I'm actually going to get these items too. Now that I'm way over leveled, I think this is fine. It's kind of worth it. Because we might actually get some good stuff. Uh, we'll grab Helix to go up there with them. I don't know what the right way to do this is. So we're just gonna... Wow! I'm glad I didn't come here early. You gotta be kidding me. Just chilling with level A Deoxys. I don't mind them. They're, they're just a starter trainer. Like... I just, <laughs> I just really want their money. I am so glad that I didn't start with this. Could you imagine if I came up here like just after learning cut? Oh, dude, that would have been terrible. Oh, Deoxys is turning into a tentacle monster. Not what you want to see. Of course you get a full restore. I mean, to be, to be fair, I would want to use my Deoxys more than just one turn, so full restore is fa uh, fine by me.
So the Deoxys is kind of funny to see. Just look away briefly and then all of a sudden, bang. What a Chad trainer. I think that's something else that's pretty cool. So, no. No. No, 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 no. Everybody out. Everybody out of the pool. Everybody out of the gosh darn pool. This person's got a Deoxys and a Registeel. Yeah. Not cool. This is why we don't like Registeel. <laughs> The hard read. The hard read to save everybody. You just gotta do it sometimes, you know? You just gotta... You gotta outplay the AI because the AI is gonna play you. Regis yeah, so... The reason why Registeel, Regice, and uh, Regirock are so annoying is because in the early levels, like, I think it's the first 15 levels, the only thing they know is explosion, and the only thing I know is pain, because I want that Mew, but I can't have it. This is so ridiculous, man. Yeah, Registeel is spooky. Let's just fight all the legendaries now, why not, right? Let's just break out the Mewtwo already. You know? It's about time. I don't see what else they should do, you know? It's all about the Mew, baby. I actually really like Mew. Maybe it's just because it was something that I could never have until recent, but like... Man, I used to love Mew. It was like one of my favorite Pokemon until I came across Jirachi. And Jirachi is like by far and away the best. Hands down favorite. Like of all the mythicals and all the legendaries. Give me Jirachi or give me death. Like Jirachi is so cool. Um, we're gonna switch them around now. Wish cash. Wow. I hate to say this, Skyrim, but if that was my encounter up here and I caught it, I would probably switch out the for alligator for it because water ground is such a cool typing. Oh, wait, what? Oh! I don't think I'm ever gonna have a good use case for that. But thanks, dude. Rockin' Scary. And we go this way. I think Spinarak was our encounter here, if I remember right. It's been a bit. It's been hours since uh, I last remember what it was. Oh yeah, okay, we're close. We're almost out of here. We're about to get into the fun bits. We're actually gonna get story. Can you believe it? And we run through here. Oh, 
Oh, I've beaten all these trainers, so it's like I don't have to dodge anything and I can just run around freely. Can you believe it? It's almost like a good way to play the game or something. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, guess what I just discovered? I am grounded. If you notice here, I'm missing one specific type of Pokemon. Looks like we're walking. It really does look like we're walking. Ugh. This would be mad frustrating. Just being like, ugh. Route 112. These guys are gone though. Watch us get the hiker on the first go. Could you imagine? Darn. That would have been cool. Back when Pokemon had really lame cutscenes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put back up way up in the front. Do 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 do. Is there items up here? Do 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 do. Just gonna run around your corals because you're lame. But it, but it, 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 it. I'm so glad I could just make everything a single battle. Man, this grass type is coming in it's so freaking handy. I love this, dude. Like, it's. I normally don't take grass types with me. But I'm kind of feeling like I might have been putting myself at a disadvantage because this is just so cheesy. All this time I've been avoiding grass types when really I should have been embracing them. Anti-Helix is 22, not quite 40, but hey, you know, it is what it is. We make do with what we got. You know, as bad as Team Magma is, I can at least get behind what they're doing. Think about it, what do they want to do? They want to make more land. Honestly? Not bad. Just not a great way of doing it. Kind of cataclysmic in the way that they plan on doing it. Team Aqua? What do they want to do? Let's flood the world. Okay. Where are you going to get your pizza from, genius? Are you going to just... Order it from the, uh, the Papa Joe. Oh, wait a minute. We flooded that. Bunch of idiots. Like, why? Why is your end goal to flood the world? That makes no sense. Magma Admin. Admin D's nuts. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Some 
switching to Minum. Switching to Blizzcon Minum is probably going to pay off, I think. I could be wrong, but... Soul Rock. Uh, as much as I want to go back into backup to get more EXP, this is probably the correct move. Yep. See that confusion coming from a mile away, baby. I'm not even phased by it. I kind of don't like that I'm going to be down a little bit in HP for the next fight, but, you know. We take what we can get. Mareep? I'm a weep because we're going to go back to Blaziken. Poor chat. He's not feeling too good anymore. Oh, oh she's not feeling too good. Positive side of things, though, chat is quick and powerful. It means this is a breeze. I'm trying to learn bulk up. Yeah, I'm okay with that, honestly. I think bulk up is fine. Having a, a setup move is always welcome if it's a good one. You gotta be kidding me. All right, you know, I've had it pretty easy up until now, so I can I can understand why the game is taking out some frustration on me here. I'm just gonna hope that Lugia has nothing else to hit me with. Ugh. Hey, bite. Throws a lot of EXP. Getting Lugia is a little bit unfortunate, but we continue on because we're actually doing pretty good. We're, we're handling threats well, and we're switching when we need to. I think that's the big one, is like making sure you switch when it's required. It's kind of like important. Alright, Maxi. Look, dude, that's a great speech and all. I'm just here to go fight a gym leader, and I need your goons to move. So, back it up. Pipe theme, though. I think we actually can make a good switch here. This could play really good or really bad. We'll find out in a minute here. Speed goes down. We get a big hit right here. No. 
down too. Let's go. Anti Helix is doing work. Pulling his weight. Nose pass. Well, we need to get out before he uses block. So. You did good, Helix. You did exactly what you needed to do. Let's kill something. I'm trying to leech seed because I'm going to play a little bit slow here. I'd rather play slow than play reckless. See, that was coming out, I know that much, but we're healing, so I may not be able to escape, but neither can they. Right. Home stretch, baby. Give me that HP back. And we're almost at full health by the time that he goes down. 29. Yeah. I'll switch to something more reliable. I think we're gonna go grass dark pretty soon, so. Grumpig. Just in time. My guy. Oh. That is a clutch leech seed, dude. Just absolutely running it. Let me do is in some faint attacks now. We're gonna try to. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. That is an impressive amount of damage coming from that side beam. I think I can take one more. We're gonna go for flinches. Flinching would be huge. Yep. Yep. Oh, the leech seed was big if they're gonna use healing items now. Oh, wow. That was actually a really clutch leech seed decision. We're just shutting them down. to do is make it through this fight and then I should be doing pretty well for myself. One seventeen. Alright. Well that was frustrating, but not bad. A little bit closer than I wanted it to be, but you know, you, you gotta you gotta give and take, right? And uh, yeah, those are words that I wanted to say. Pokemon, we got a paralyze and a poison. We're gonna use this guy on you. We're gonna use this one. On Ant Helix.
Yeah, I want to remove the meter, right? I need to go return it to that dude, but that's for another time of day. But see, look, now they're all gone. They cleared out because I whooped their butt. They know when to come back. Alright, Skyrim. Take care. Thanks for coming to the stream. I know it's late for you anyways, so... Um... Yeah. Will do, man. I'm just gonna try and make it out of here alive. In one piece. You know? It is what it is. Biker Eric. Yeah, I'm gonna need that good luck, dude. Believe me. Ugh. I'm just gonna try and do my best here because it's not the greatest. This dude has a Geo, dude, and it made me realize that this is built like an actual hiker. Surely he doesn't have more hiker like stuff, right? Surely not. Electro. So, so he used mud sport to weaken electricity, and then he uses electro. Why? Makes zero sense. I'm not here to question it, but like, it's a bit of a strange choice. Down. I think there's some stuff here. Oh, this is an encounter area, too. Well, I got one more to go, so... Let's, uh... Let's see what I can encounter out here. Hopefully something good. I encounter my death. Unless I kill it one shot. Okay, I get to live. That would be bad, though. Uh, we're just gonna keep using strength because I don't want to... any shot of using its self-destruct. Trying to learn Roar. We do not need that. Stop learning Roar. That is useless. Granville Ditto. Well, do they know that that is exactly what I need for my chat to come out here and absolutely rip them apart? This probably won't be too too long of a stream, but I do want to at least do one gym. We're going to attempt to get to the, the fifth gym, though. Because I think... With the pacing of the game, we should be able to get there with relative ease. It's a little frustrating, so. Skarmory! Happens to be in a good spot for me. Blomp. Gone. Reduced to ashes. Ever be back in this area? Maybe. Thanks for your number, Diana. My success has made me lonely. <laughs> what a statement. Scope lens. Could be good. I don't remember what that does. New encounter is an onyx. Damn it. On the bright side, I can give it a quick claw. Rock Smash is proving to be really useful for me catching Pokemon, so I'm honestly quite happy I've uh, given it to Granbull here.
you know what? Ugh. Honestly, though, one of the most inspiring moments that made me really want to get into this. So, as much as it was a painful experience to watch, I think it's only fitting. Welcome to the right side of the team, bud. We're gonna keep you safe. You don't have to worry about any more... any more stuff. Egged Pass is pretty nice. I missed, like, two battles, but that's okay. I don't really, uh... I don't need it that bad. I'm doing okay, so... I could probably just sweep with a ground ball, honestly. Strength is, is proving to be quite impressive. I didn't think I would be, be absolutely decimating this hard. I'm sure to win, we're just to poke a Yeah, sure, man. You can you can have a spot in the nav. Let's uh let's take our heal. Because healing seems like a good idea. Because I don't get an encounter really in Laveridge Town. Uh we're gonna we're gonna put away a Pokemon real quick so I can get it. And we'll save that for another day. I'll try and I'll try and hatch it when I have some time. Like just to just to whittle it down, right? Now, our team is kind of set up in a really good way, so I don't really need it, but you never know, right? I mean, we could just sit here and try and hatch it. for a bit, because I'm just thinking about some stuff. Honestly, I'm pretty uh, happy with how far uh, we've gotten with our randomized Nuzlocke. All things considered, you know, we've reached the fourth gym area. Tiny little down. Not really anything crazy. We got a decent team. We had an incredible starter. I mean, just think back on it, right? We had, what, Blaziken as our choice. We could have got a Machop. We could have got a Barboach. But we chose Blaziken, which I think was the right call. As much as I wanted to take a Barboach with me. Um, the fact that we even saw an Entei and caught it was, was pretty incredible. So, even if we never use it, just the experience of catching one was awesome for me. We got for alligator really early on, and that really changed the tempo. Having two solid Pokemon to just, you know, rely on, keep, uh, keep pushing with. It was, it was uh, a good feeling. Um, we've seen a couple of interesting encounters. Uh, I thought I was gonna use Togetic. I really did. Togetic was gonna be like some weird strats. Um, to go with it. But having a Gramble in his place was honestly exciting now that I look back at it. Especially considering we got one with Intimidate. Uh, of course, Kabuto showing up is awesome. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Fishing up that Cacnea turned out to be one of the best things that ever happened. 
which is really freaky to me because Cacnea was like totally you know the left field. I didn't think that we would ever really have uh, have that happen, but hey, we got ourselves a grass type. We really needed it because it seems that everybody has a water type Pokemon these days. Um, and then our uh, cave encounter today with Jolteon, it's kind of big, because I mean, we really, there's only been a couple of times where I could have used having an electric type, but having a speedy electric type to kind of, uh, you know, move around with, uh, and make some plays with, it's gonna be helpful, but not necessary, I think. I do need another bulky Pokemon that I'd be willing to swap Velo for, I think. But from what I have, and from how well the team has done, it's kind of hard for me to justify swapping them out for anything. I would like a Psychic type. If I could find like a Natu, or Zatu, I would be doing really well then, because then I'd be able to fly too. Um, but yeah, let's just quickly check to see if this egg is actually... We'll hatch that off-stream. I'm done reminiscing. It might be something good though, so uh... We'll uh... We'll, we'll keep you posted on that one. I wonder what's in there, though. Hatch like a Lugia or something, lol. Uh, alright. How's my team look? I think we just go in guns blazing and try and overwhelm them with our, our strength. Just for tonight. I, I don't feel a reason play oh no <clears throat> well give me a moment here From him, we need to go down one. Can you tell that we're dealing with our totally legitimate uh, Game Boy? a double battle. It's gonna get sketchy. We'll uh we'll do our best though. Uh I'm gonna go with fight string and uh, leech seed. I'm gonna try and knock one out. We're gonna keep the other one safe. Slow and steady wins the race, so. So aggressive tends to also on the race too.
We're making progress. We're, uh, we're chipping him away. He's not gonna run away with Defense Curl, I don't think, if we keep spamming Rock Smash. So, shouldn't take too long on this one. Kind of sketchy running into a Snorlax this early, though. So, chat, you named a light? Yeah, I'm naming uh, every Pokemon after uh, after the first time somebody chats during this uh, Nuzlocke. So, next one's on you. Um, but yeah, welcome to the uh, to the stream. I am currently trying to make my way through a gym with my legitimate copy of Pokemon Emerald. And you can tell it's legitimate because you can't see anything in this one. <laughs> uh, I need to go one this way. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Had my stream earlier, it was fun. Nice, dude. Uh, do you have VODs enabled on your channel, or no? Because if you do, I will, I will watch that. I do? Okay. Uh, I'm doing alright. I mean, happy talking to chat. Um, it's just... I'm kind of solo in this one. I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling myself uh, making my way through it. Kind of got the sauce going. Uh, this team has been pretty incredible. Um, it just requires a little bit of like foresight to play it. Uh, because I got a great team going on right here. Just need to mind the extremely powerful psychic users so I don't lose my starter and I'm okay. Kind of unpleasant to get hit with that one, but uh... I'm gonna tang this really. Uh, yeah. So... I don't know, how can I word it? I mean, I've said it before, but we'll continue through. This is a randomized uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke. So everything is just kind of up to chance. Um, what they have, what I have. Uh, I mean, I didn't randomize like moves or abilities, but the Pokemon themselves, like the encounters and what I'm fighting, is uh, just completely up to chance. And so it's causing me to play... What did I just do? Back at two. Okay, one, two, over. Here we go. I know it's a randomizer. Just rough seeing it early, dude. I have fought so many Metagross. I've I've seen like seven. So believe me, nobody likes the. Um, Just go. Oh man. We gotta do that again. Uh, nobody likes seeing the Metagross worse than I do. Yep. You go up here. Four. One. Two. Yep. Five. Five goes up. Oh wait, no. Five is this way. Yep. There's number six. Sorry, I promise, I promise that I'm looking. Uh... Sorry, it's just what the... This map is not helpful. So I need to go... 
over there? And that puts me where? So six puts me to there. I don't see seven. Oh, seven puts me down there. No. Oh no, I'm lost. I know we're on six. That's that's all I know. And that that one puts me here. I do that right. I did that right. Okay. We're good. We made it through. Sorry, I had to really had to really focus up there. <laughs> uh okay. We're gonna write a snapshot. We're gonna save. And we're good. Okay. I promise to you guys I'm paying attention. I swear. I'm just... I am, like, not enjoying the fact that this is all made like this. What a nerd. <laughs> I literally had to pull up a map. Like, I have it on the second screen here just so I could find my way through. Silcoon? Lame. Alright. So we're gonna get stronger on this one. We just overwhelm and run through. That's that's my entire plan here. Pincer? Cool, it doesn't matter, we have strength. Okay, no, it does matter. Uh ba 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 ba. 29. Man, did I like not grind enough? Oh, burn. That's huge. Do we still win this? We win this. Sorry for the loud noises, you're just gonna have to give me a pass here for this. Uh, jump that there. Okay. It's a little scary seeing the revenge come out that early. You know what? No, I was gonna play really courageous, but I'm gonna play lame. Yep. Okay. Just don't don't want to get absolutely wrecked here. You know, we're playing stupid. Play lame, win game. Yep. Items are not banned, so why not use them? Because I don't trust myself to make it. Well, in one game, Tropius. See? All I had to do was just rush in with, like, a gramble and a dream. Oh man. Okay. Tropius is not scary, even though it's my favorite Pokemon. Well, one of them. I, I should I should say. Much uh much love for the Tropius. Tropius is honestly like so cool design wise. But I think what made me fall in love with uh the Pokemon was uh 
seeing its its uh, 3D model in uh, Pokemon uh, XE Gale of Darkness. Just watching that thing soar around was so cool, and like just walking around. Because it really is just a big old Lanosaur. It's pretty neat. Quite like it. Got Jim Batch 4, our 44 minutes in. Up to level 50. Oh, when I get the Gogols, is that. I don't know if that's a new encounter or not. It's got overheat, good for like late game stuff. Oh, this is your uh, your first time coming out to uh, one of the randomized Nuzlocke streams. So I gotta ask, did you see any of the uh, Pokemon that we've caught up until this point? Since it's basically just you and me here. Oh, uh, don't know if you did, but if you haven't, not yet, why? Because I've been hoarding encounters since uh, the rules don't allow me to have multiple uh, same primary typing. And encounter, like, number two was fantastic. And ever since encounter number two, we've been getting a crazy amount of Pokemon. I think I missed one encounter. So we have some stuff to build teams with. Not a lot of, like, great encounters as far as diversity, but we have enough diversity that we can build the team later if I need to. Um, should work out all right. I haven't fought this guy yet. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, I did fight you. Oh! Okay, cool. Get this Pokeball, and... Hey! <laughs> Let's go! I didn't think I would actually find this in this randomizer. That's actually huge! I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but I'm going to use it on something. Uh, I need to go down this way now. So I need to go and fight my dad. But I think the best course of action would be to take on Cycling Road right now. Because, I mean, realistically, there's there's no reason not to. Uh, I'd rather just stay on top of my EXP curve, you know? My EXP curve, my EXP gains. I want to make sure that I'm not falling too far behind and that I get my CAC turn. It's coming up soon. After almost killing my Cacnea, I think it's it's about time we try and get uh, get a Cac turn. The man's lived with like two HP. You should have been dead. He had no business being alive. moving. Making some progress. The fact that we've done some story and we're already at this point is pretty fun. Should be a few more streams before we actually reach the end of the game. Um, hopefully. If we actually get that far. I'd like to get that far. Honestly, I'd like to, to make it through the end of the Snuzlocke. I think I'm like one for one on my Nuzlocke's as far as actually reaching the end. Although I am going to do the the, uh, the Steven fight as well. So 
That'll be tough. I think that'll be the big finale. We'll, uh... We'll see. I'd like to- I'd like to fight Steven and call it the end of the game. I think it would be... I how most of the game's progression is for Emerald. Uh, a lot of the progression is just running around, uh, taking care of, like, weird tasks, um, followed by occasionally getting stuff done. Um, they do kind of condense it a little bit more near the end, but the progression of the early game is kind of just, like, really spaced out. You got a lot of time between uh, point A and point B. So, just feel it out. Make the most of it, right? Fine, lady. Can't, can't, look, can't work on taking road. Can't go take, taking road. Fair enough, what's the champion for this game? Uh, so, in this game, they swap it to Wallace, uh, the 8th gem leader. Uh, because Steven is out just doing his own thing. He's the champion from the previous game, the, uh, the metal type uh, user. So, Steven's out wandering around, you meet up with him a little bit, you beat the Elite Four, and then you beat Wallace, and then bada bing, bada boom, you're the Pokemon champion. However, you can still come across uh, Steven in a cave, kind of like how you did with like Red, uh, with the mountain. So I count him as the real fight for the end because he's got a really strong team. Granted, it'll be randomized, so it won't be as spooky, fingers crossed, but... You know, it just kind of is what it is. And it isn't what it isn't. Wow! Well, there goes that plan. <sighs> All right. I was low-key relying on backup, but, uh, damn. Well, I mean, that's how it goes, right? You know, you try and stay in for the EXP because you think hey, maybe I can get something out of this, and then the next thing you know, you're holding the dead corpse of your one of your uh, star Pokemon. Um, yeah. That's, that's tough. That is very tough. But I mean... Was it avoidable? Yeah. Is it my fault? Yeah. Does it still hurt? Yeah. Yeah, it does. What can you do? Pride gets in the way. You think you have it all. And then you're forced to lament over your wrongdoings. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that one for a while. But when one falls, another takes his place. This time was too soon.
chat though, starter is still absolutely destroying, which is what we need to see. Having the firefighting out the gate is probably pretty big, and uh, I'm gonna be relying on that a little bit more now. We're basically getting painted back into a corner, so. I mean, at the end of the day, we didn't lose the Pokemon that um, are really carrying. But uh, we're definitely not in a great spot with, uh, with the loss of our Grass type. It would be nice to get another Grass type. You know what? I think I'm just gonna switch on this one. Uh, yeah, we gotta. Hmm. Oh. I lose another to a crit. Nah, we're gonna stick this one out. Because I'd like to just get the most EXP that I can. Uh, for Velo, real quick. At least uh, mitigate the damage a little bit to give me another counter to uh, all the water types that keep showing up. You shouldn't panic, dude. You should panic. What do you do? Panic Ash. I don't want to see that person again. What a lame NPC. I do think that it's really funny that that NPC's whole purpose is to let you know that the free bike that you got, that you're riding around, is purely just advertising because it's got, like, this stuff all over it. It's really funny to me. Got a pursuit user. Be doing good though. Uh, Ponyta, we go in to. So, how do you get randomizers? So, uh, basically, you just download the Universal Pokemon randomizer. And then you download an emulator. And you down... Then you need to download a ROM. And then you take the uh, randomizer, you open that up. Uh, and then you load up the ROM into that randomizer uh, program and then you basically toggle on what you want, what you don't want uh, and it rewrites the game for you and then you load it up in your emulator. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's well worth it. I think if uh, anybody's never experienced a randomizer before that it's worth doing. Yeah, I could I could just find it for you. It's no big deal. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of things. It's just, oh, it's level six. I didn't even see that. Um. Yeah, well, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's not a lot of great tutorials out there, so it took a bit. Uh, I also don't really have um the greatest emulator working for me right now. So, I'm just running off of like 
one that happens to be getting it done. You know, Black and White is a game that I really want to play through again. Um, purely because I didn't really uh, remember anything from it. Uh, I played the game, and it was it was the least enjoyable one for me at the time. I don't know why. Uh, I think it was just the Pokemon. I didn't really feel like attached to them in any way. Um, but I think redoing the game with a randomizer would be a little bit more interesting for me. Because I remember so little about the game, I'd basically be doing a blind run. Um, I could probably come up with a way to make it more interesting too. So. Yeah, I mean, like, because a lot of people really liked it, right? Like, I, I know that when I say, oh, you know, black and white was bad, people look at me like I'm a freak. Um, and when, you know, people say, like, oh, you should have played the remakes. I did play the remake. I don't remember what happened. Um, maybe one day. We'll see. Um, but just for me, right? The, the big thing was I didn't get attached to any of the region, I didn't get attached to the story, and I didn't get attached to the Pokemon. It was just that it was a perfect storm for me to not like the game. Was it a bad game? In hindsight, probably not. It just didn't jump out at me, you know? Your cycling skill borders on terrifying. Thanks, dude. Maybe. Um. I don't know. As as much as like a replay sounds good, I kind of just not sure. I have some stuff that I want to do. It's on my like. Don't get me wrong. Playing black and white is on my list. Um, for me, I think one thing that I really want to do is uh, I want to play uh, Pokemon XD Gala Darkness on stream at some point. Because that game was so much fun. And I think a lot of people need to like really uh, see it. You know, uh, I, I get that I need to... Like, a lot of people told me that I need to play it. Um, and honestly, I probably should. I've just been putting it off way too long. Um, so we lost, we lost our grass type. And I don't have a lot that I can put on to replace it. I can put on Dragonair, but they're too weak and I need to grind them up. I could put on Sandshrew, just in case. I'm thinking that might be a good move. I definitely am starting to feel the crunch, though. But, I mean, with the amount of deaths we had, I think we're, we're doing all right, you know? We're, uh, we're, looking, we're looking mighty tough. Uh, we're gonna catch up on a couple of battles down here. Just gonna try and uh, get some, some free stuff. Because free bees are the best bees. I'll do Thundershock again. Try and uh... we're in damage control at this point, I think.
Just trying to make some uh, some use of what we got here. Scissor. I can't hurt that. I can try, but I, can, I forget. Can you do? No. So it's so it's route only. But if you want to get real sneaky, sometimes you can fish in cities. Uh, so we got a slate port encounter because you can just barely get into slate port. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, uh, it's all right. Yeah, fishing in cities is one that a lot of people forget about. So. I tend to try and take full advantage of my encounters because having that extra rule. Yeah, best ones are just ones I'm not supposed to get. For me, the, the best way of um, doing it, at least in my opinion, is just uh, trying to get as many as possible to, to load your PC because you're likely not going to be able to use all of them. Especially with the rule set that's, that's put in here. Actually, um, I'm mean, kind of like running through this. Um, after the stream, if you need some help, I can I can help out. I just would like to uh, to finish up with this stuff and try and uh, reach my goal of the fifth gym uh, for tonight, and then after that, for sure, I can try and help you figure it out. Uh, I was looking for something. What was I looking for? No. Need up. You do not have to pay a dime for the game a second time. Although, you technically are pirating a game, so the moral ground is if you've owned it and you paid for it before, is it really pirating if you're just moving it onto your computer? I'll let you figure that one out. That's a gray area for, uh, for you and you only. For myself, I have bought Emerald like twice and also own the, uh, what's it called? The remakes. So I would say that I have some justification, but again, this is still something that is a gray area. Boba Fett is always scary, but we make it through. I lost, but I won't cry. And that's what we call beating up little children. What a Pokemon game ever release from Soul Silver to Moon. I've actually had to go back and buy a lot of the other ones because I didn't have them. So I have like quite literally every single mainline game, although I did give away, um, yes, Bully Room Random Children, my favorite. Um, I went back and bought, like, all the original stuff, I played, played those. Um, played the GameCube ones, uh, the 3DS ones, DS ones, Switch ones. I've just been playing Pokemon for so long, but this is kind of just a comfort zone for me. Pokemon's just one of those games I can get lost in. I will say it's nice to be playing a game where, like, you can not really expect what's going to happen. Like, the fact that it's a randomizer just makes it so that I have zero idea what's next. Which I, I love. 
because I've played Pokemon so much and I've replayed the game so much that it's kind of gotten to the point where it's like, yeah, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to set up my team, sweep, you know. Having a little diversity is always well worth it. So do we just like... Do we just storm in and be like, hey, yo, give me your stuff? I think I think I just bust down the door and be like, hey, yo, dad, give me your, give me your gym badge. Also, we're gonna do our normal strat of putting a Pokemon to die in the back, just in case. So I would much rather have a Sandshrew. Alright, let's write this snapshot. Right. Save. Yes. Uh, speed room. I want to avoid the room with items. I think they all use items, but like... So, we're in agreement here that I just run through the gym with Gramble and like, blast the heck out of them, right? I think that that's the best course of action. Because Gramble is like the best one on the team right now, in my opinion. For the sole reason that we lead with Intimidate. Azumarill, if only I had a certain grass type to help me out here. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna blast this man. Ugh. Really? One HP. Couldn't be any more annoying about it, huh? Couldn't be any more annoying about it. And I'm gonna get punished for using Rock Smash. You know what? Fine. I can do that too. We're, we're, we're gonna just... We're, yep, 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 yep. Take that one, Azumarill. Yeah, there's a, there's a fair few uh, emulators. Um, they're pretty consistent. So it's just kind of like getting one that you like, honestly. I forget where I got my DS emulator. I have one. I just haven't really used it. Uh, I don't remember the DS emulators off the top of my head. Um, I know that Virtual Boy was supposed to be the good one for this, but I couldn't get it to load a game, so... Maybe I'm just stupid. That's always an option. Defense room. Confusion room. Huh. No. Even if it's random, no. More reckless I can attack. I don't know, it's really just a matter of uh, getting one that you like, or trying it, trying it out and seeing if it feels okay. If it doesn't feel okay, you know, try a different one. Emulators are just kinda, kind of a thing. I'm sure you could also just like quickly Google it too. Screech and then Water Pulse. That's a strange. Oh no. You better hit. <sighs> okay.
Now let's cut the confusion crap. with a hunt tail. I can't believe this. Um, like I said, just just try some stuff. See see if there's anything you like. Can't really go wrong. Just uh, feel it out. Uh, I think we intimidate here. Lower their attack. Bait the bite. I think we win here. This is this is possible. Oh my goodness, dude. <sighs> you know, I, I feel you. Um Honestly, I haven't really tried any DS emulators, so I, I can't give you a one from like experience. It's just kind of uh, something I haven't touched. So, uh, as much as I'd like to make a recommendation, I, I don't really have one. I'm getting absolutely smacked. Alright, look. I, I'm gonna need more more potions, I think. I don't I don't think I can actually make my way through here without bringing some. Otherwise I'm gonna get beat up real bad. Two sixteen. We're kind of speedrunning this. We're much further along than I would normally be. I... Like I am not prepared for this gym. And I know I'm not really all that prepared, but like it's a little it's a little sketch. One hit KO room. There's no way he has one hit KO moves. Uh we still got Gramble. even a threat. Okay. I was going to say, if we got flinched again, I'd be a little bit salty. Why do they all got hyper potions, dude? Kind of a kind of a lame lame gym. I'm gonna get punished for using a rock smash. Uh. All right. So we got. Two level 30s. I don't know, man. This is, uh... I feel ill-prepared now that I'm missing one. Alright, Walmart. 
a snapshot because I don't trust myself. File. Right. Yes. Yes. The only game where you have a dad and you gotta beat him up. Kind of weird. Dogatick. We're starting off safe. We're gonna just hit him hard and go. That's free. Ella Kid. Also free. Got crit. We like it when they get crit. Ditto is concerning. It's gonna use transform. So we shift. Oh, wait a minute here. <laughs> Get wrecked. Look at this. Look at this play. Yeah, have fun with my level six spin rack moves. And that's an easy ditto fight. <laughs> oh man, I, I keep forgetting what this Pokemon is called. One day I'll remember. One day I will have memory of what this Pokemon is called. Just kind of jumped into it. I mean, I can I can look up some stuff. Like after the fact, I'm gonna give you some recommendations if you if you're that uncomfortable with it. But... Oh, easiest Norman fight of my life. Okay. I can't believe it. I lost. I'll be real here, I am so hungry. We're at two hours and twenty minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing. We're gonna go a little bit longer because I'd like to run a little bit further. Yeah, I got you. Uh can you can he just heal my Pokemon real quick? I'd like that too. Oh wait, I get Surf, don't I? This is where I get Surf. Let's go! I needed Surf. Surf is big. Wait a sec, did I not get my Petalburg encounter yet? I don't think I've gotten my Petalburg encounter. I think I, I got my rod and then I left. That's PC. Let me check. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone.
Okay, let's get another Pokemon. Surf on Kabuto. <laughs> now that's a funny image in my head. All right, we got surf. Isn't there like, uh, yeah, there's an item over here. A berry? Okay. Do 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 do. Hey, that's actually kind of cool. I never used one of these before. Oh, yeah, sure. I got you. Great ball. I can probably use this. It was bubble? What? It's kinda cool. I really want to catch it. Get in the ball. Come on. I don't even want to be part of the team. You so want to be part of the team. Don't even pretend. Ma masquerade. You so want to be part of the boys. Come on. Yeah! Alright. so many encounters that have actually made it in here. Alrighty. And after we get another death, then we can use that. Alright, uh, lost the second, burns up. Yeah, no, that's fine. We're gonna quickly heal. And we're gonna make our way back to Mobile. Because I believe the only thing we have left to do is. Uh, make our way forward. Playing this game grounded is so strange. No flying or anything. It's like I know I'm not gonna be getting anywhere. Fight. A little bit of free AXP. It will intimidate though, so we're all down one, which is not too bad. Trace the Volt Absorb, that is a good thing to take note of. So we can't attack that one with Thundershock. Base strength in the Porygon.
And we're gonna use Rock Smash, and we're gonna use Thunder Shock again. Because that's the game. You're done. No shot. No shot, no way, no how, no sir. Grown. That's right. Now we're gonna swap you two around. Is there a cave? Oh, there is a cave in there. It's locked away. That's useful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna make it all the way back to Marvel, though. I don't trust the fortress. Fortresses explode. I've been wronged by a fortress before. Giraffery. I have a non issue. We melt through that, no problem. We jump bluff, we melt through that, no problem. Easy. Still waiting on like a really strong fire type move for, uh, for chat here. Might be a while. Might be a pretty long time before I get to do that. Drowsy, your Pokemon is not adorable. Your Pokemon is hideous and disgusting. Okay, so I hit a wall and he's not explaining it. Yeah. Tutorials are, uh, they're something. I mean, to be fair, I barely understand how I got this thing running. The NDS and the emulator have the randomizer file. So, you boot up the emulator. So you have, like, the Nintendo DS, right? Uh, the emulator for it. Open up that. You, uh... Then pick the file. I'm pretty sure you have to load in a file for... So, uh, you load in that custom file, um, wherever you saved it on your computer, and then it uh, should be good to go. They'll probably ask you to like write snapshots and stuff, but... Let's see if Rock Smash kills. I think Rock Smash should kill here. Alright, uh, rotate it. Oh. Um. It yeah, doesn't say like that. That would be an options menu thing, wouldn't it? There should be like an overarching tab of stuff that you can do with the emulator at the top. I gotta fight all these people if I want to get that item. How do we go full screen? Um, there should be an option to like right click and bring it up. If not, then that might be your closest to full screen that you get. Oof, I really want cereal. I want cereal so bad right now. 
check this out. Sir. Let's go. Big damage for the big player. Stantler. Man. For alligator sprite, dude, it looks so strange. I know that's supposed to be a tail, but that does not look like a tail. It is so tough to look at. That Pokeball, give me it. I could get some rare candies. I think uh, the house there has it. Might be worth getting a rare candy, I think. Since I lost my, you know, Pokemon I was working with. Gosh, dang it. Kill on Celio, looking good. So we should be smooth sailing from here, right? There shouldn't be any hiccups and I should just be having a good time. Right? Right. Oh. A long pause while we wait for the Pokemon to die. A kid can rock. Yeah, well, they weren't necessarily meant for some aspect ratios, right? Like, everything is really awkward, so... Shell Bell? Give it to to light here. Shell bell is big. Hmm. I think the last thing I do is uh, probably go and fight through that dude's house again. Get myself a rare candy. I think it's a Rock Smash one this time. Let's just go up there one more time. I like you'll notice this isn't stretched to fit. Uh, for my stuff, really because like, I just can't be asked to. I mean, as long as it looks good, though. So, did you, um... Did you already go through the process of randomizing your save file with the Universal Randomizer? That's the, the big important one. No? Okay. So... What I want you to do then is you're gonna have to go and type in like into Chrome or whatever you use Universal uh, Pokemon Randomizer. Uh, once you download that, it's like it, it's like one screen. It's a white like page with a blue background. Uh, super like blank looking. You just download that, and then it's also gonna ask you to download like Adobe or something. Not Adobe. Uh, what's it called? Java. It's gonna make you download Java. Um, and then when you download that, uh, like from the suggested spot it has, then you're basically set to go. You can randomize the file, save the file, and then load that specific one. 
It sounds it sounds intimidating, it's not. I promise. <sighs> My Lodic. Man, they're bringing out all the water types. Good thing that we've got the electric type out here. Four. It's all good. You're fine. <coughs> it's okay to get confused. Sunspore. I mean, I like it when I'm using it, but I don't like being on the receiving end of Sunspore. I find it's pretty annoying. Right. You're battling too, huh? That kid. You know what they used to call me in high school? They used to call me the battler because I was good at battling. So what's going on here? So is this just like blocked off? Or is there something... Like, yeah. What have I done? I did something. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Charcoal! Yo! This day just keeps getting better and better. Helix. Oh, this is going well, dude. We got we got charcoal now. We got shell bell. I'll just fight this person now. No reason to put it off. King is always scary to deal with because they are strong. They are very strong. Oh wait, I gotta go all the way back. There we go. Studying so I can set up my own gym. I would love to see this kid come back then as like a gym leader. That'd be so cool. Just like so that people would know, like, hey, this happened. Oof. Hey, with the big pound. I don't know if I can use strength yet. I might be able to. I don't know if I can, though. It went below is getting nice and strong.
I could get them up to like a reasonable level, then I could probably do some work with them. I clicked open. I made it through your dungeon with children in it, Mr. Dude. Timer ball. Wonder if I can do the next one. We'll take a look. Because if I can, I probably should. It's not essential to do, it's just. would be a good idea. If I can do the next one, then this will probably be the last thing I do. How did you get in the dresser? What's well, a rock smash one? I can do this too. Back to the same place. Uh, without knowing the emulator you're using, I would imagine that you're probably gonna have to use uh, the options at the top. It should be like a, like a utility or options or something like that, that nature. I'm just gonna like crush their attack. Hopefully this works. I really don't want to leave them in against Hariyama. Entire team's gonna get EXP on this one. <laughs> the one thing that I'm scared of, and the reason why I haven't gone for like a status effect on this thing, is because I'm scared of guts. Like guts would be pretty terrifying. Um, nah, I generally leave the stats like alone. Um, you basically want to at least do the wild encounters. If you want the trainers to be interesting, you do the trainers. Um, starters. Uh, I, I think items is fun if you like randomize all the items. Um, Other than that, I mean, it's kind of up to you on how much you want to be random. I think having Pokemon be pretty neutral while still having like random everything else is kind of neat. You can randomize them down to their types and their abilities. I don't, I don't like that part. I, th I can understand the fun behind it, but to me, it's just not that cool because it takes away from getting a Pokemon like. An electric type Jol Jolteon is much better than a water type Jolteon, right? 
Makes the game really weird. But you can make it pretty crazy. You can do, like, unusual stuff to your playthrough. Uh, I definitely also recommend turning off uh, early game Wonder Guard. Because that can be annoying. Highly recommend it. Because the last thing you need to do is, is wander into a fight where you have no super effective moves and flight. Because there's a Wonder Guard Pokemon. And once you're done, you should see on the, um, the left. No, the right side of the thing, there should be like a save option on the right. Uh, that one is to save a file. Uh, you basically just save that over top of your black and white like ROM. And then it makes it so that when you go to play the game, it's actually random, which is kind of fun. It's, it's actually nice. No wonder card is always good. That stuff is mad annoying. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm glad it has fire spin and nothing else that's very scary. Jeez. Nothing like encountering a mole trace in someone's dungeon, don't you think? Golly. And we kill that Duskull, we're good. Velo's getting stronger. Put a lot of effort into Velo, because they gotta make up for the loss of uh loss of backup. Two scrolls. Okay. Easy. I don't know what the hardstone does actually. But we beat a uh, trick master. Up climbs over. Come back when we need to level up a little bit more. I think we're gonna go back up and we're just gonna go for it. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna like, chill. A lot of moving around today. A lot, of, a lot of destinations that we're trying to get to. A lot of places to go, people to see.
I do kind of want to... Oh, that's just secret base, never mind. Alright. We're kind of reaching the halfway point of the game, honestly. It's, uh... It's pretty good that we've gotten this far so fast. Um, not a whole lot really has gone too, too wrong. Now that I'm losing one today, we're still pretty solid. We're pretty well off. Team is looking solid. I definitely think it was really solid that we got that uh, shell bell for, uh, for Gramble because they're putting in so much work. They're going to be killing it with uh, for alligator. Quick Claw and Kabuto makes a whole lot of sense. And then, of course, Charcoal. Uh, Blaziken. Um, yeah, we're gonna quickly write this snapshot. Uh, we're gonna save that. Yep. And you know what? I mean, like, this has been one heck of a of a run so far, so I'm gonna be pretty happy with it. But, uh, yeah, let me just pull up this. And we're just gonna go with this. So, as much as I want to continue, um, it's kind of one of those things where it's just... Not in the cards. I'm a little tired at this point. So, uh, before I hop off and, you know, disappear into my sleepy state, just wanted to let you know that if you uh, want to catch up on anything that we've done, there is a Clips channel, well, a VODs channel. If you want to see any other videos I make, I do have a secondary, uh, well, I do have a primary channel that I uh, post other stuff that I'm interested uh, in. I generally stream late at night, so keep that uh, in mind. All that being said, take care. Have a good one. I'm going to see you in the next stream, alright?